This is a patient who undergone some trauma and they were worried about an injury to the bladder. And so for this, we did our CT cystogram protocol, which consists of a non-contrast CT through the pelvis. Well, we can already see that there are some uh, repairs from prior injuries to the bones in the setting of this trauma. There are still some traumatic injuries to the pubic bones. There's pubic diastasis. A Foley catheter is present within the bladder, and we can see that there's lots of this low-density fluid that's uh, extending outwards from the region of the bladder, going all the way downwards to the left labia and uh, to the subcutaneous tissues um, of the pelvis as well. We subsequently give uh, contrast through that Foley catheter, and we can see that while it does fill the bladder, there's this very big defect within the bladder wall, and out from that, all that urine and contrast is pouring outwards, certainly going inferiorly to the labia on the left side and to the proximal soft tissues of the left thigh, but also extending cephalid and dissecting and uh, to the left anterior abdominal wall. We can see some contrast layering over there. And so quite a um, pronounced uh, bladder rupture, in this case, extraperitoneal bladder rupture with all the contrast and urine going to the extraperitoneal spaces. We don't see any of that contrast extending into the intraperitoneal spaces of the pelvis. This is a finding that can be seen in the setting of uh, trauma uh, in this instance, lots of traumatic injuries to the pubic bones, pubic diastasis, injuries to the sacrum that have been repaired. In that context, a, uh, a pronounced traumatic injury to the bladder as well.